guys subscribers and viewers i want to welcome you back to this wonderful channel welcome back to our channel so in this video i'm going to talk about a product from farmville farmville is actually a brand which actually deals with telephony devices and video conferencing devices mostly and in this video i mean i'm going to talk about one of their products which is a speaker called the uh, fh fhs01 okay this speaker is this speaker is very idle for um, shops um, marketplaces shopping malls and those large um, areas like hospitals like um, halls and all those places it's actually a wonderful device because it it has an inbuilt mic where you can it can do a two-way talk you know whoever is controlling it can talk to you and you can talk back and so with much ado let's relax sit back and then watch this video as i give you details on how this device works and its specifications as well thank you So without wasting time, let's go ahead and introduce this device. I'm sure some of you folks might have come across it already. Those who have not come, come across it, um, you, this is an opportunity to know how this device works. Okay, and so the device name is called the FHS01, and it's a SIP selling speaker featuring paging. Okay multicasting broadcasting and talkback functionalities so this um four things i just mentioned the paging multicasting broadcasting talkback functionalities are features embedded in this device which are part of telephony um services you know which are kind of um features that comes with this device which will help you in a way that um, you actually have more benefits in using this kind of devices in your halls, your um, schools, clinics, marketplaces, and um, etc. Et okay, and so it supports up to ten multicast zones with prioritization. Okay, it delivers high intelligibility performance with gen.722 and opus codex this these are um some sound formats um that are also embedded in this device as well adopter standard sip 2.0 into brackets rfc 3261 and related rfc protocols it has strong capability and scalability Okay, so this is just the definition of this device. Now I'm going to show you the pictures and int functionalities that it comes with. Okay, and so uh, this is how the device looks like, and these are some of the functionalities you find in it. It's all in one functionality. So you have the digital amplifier, the Equasia driver, and the guitar signal processor all in this small device um, let me read more about it which says integrated coesia driver built-in digital signal processor and digital amplifier plug and play when connecting to poe and so it supports poe okay okay so the next thing is high intelligibility performance as you can see how it works here okay so this is just a simulation of how the device works it gives you the mp3 um that's if you want to listen to music and then you have the g.722 and then you have the opus and so it says if fh-s01 supports mp3 broadcasting with sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz with wideband audio 
codec that is G.722 opus and up to 15 watt audio power it delivers crystal clear sound at a distance range so obviously this device will really help um, big environments okay like those places I mentioned earlier it also has talk back with built-in microphone so I, as I said earlier in the beginning of my video I talked about how this device can help you to communicate back to whoever is trying to communicate to you so it has a kind of two-way communication and so with built-in omnidirectional microphone omnidirectional meaning anywhere you are in, in where this device has been placed you'll be able to talk to it and then you get the feedback FH-S01 supports talkback that enables users to talk with the caller I hope you get me now so basically this is how the talkback works so this is basically a simulation of how this device works okay now if we move to the next one which is emergency notification alerting the FH-01 provides flexible connection to emergency button smoke sensor and door sensor according to the needs with customization wave file for emergency notification and alarm users can deal with emergencies effectively you see you'll be able to um, integrate smoke sensor emergency button onto it whereby in case of any of these triggers it will sound an alarm through this um, or it will sound an alert through this uh, mic uh, through this speaker in this part this is where this device can come in handy okay so multiple application scenarios so these are various scenarios i mentioned earlier but this gives an in-depth um, scenarios of them so with the powerful functionalities of scheduled broadcast background music playing and emergency notification fh s01 is ideal for school office station retail factory and a wide variety of other indoor venue types so as you can see in the picture here we have schools so you can it can be used in school office stations it could be train stations or wherever retail factory and hotel so these are the ideal places this device can come in handy okay which can help them in their various uh, daily operations okay so the product highlights these are some of the um, brief highlights about this product and this is how the device looks like very um, it's not that big enough you know very cute in looking the product highlights are all-in-one functionality with audio codec digital amplifier and speaker the next one is high intelligibility performance with g.722 and opus codex as we spoke about earlier the third one is it supports up to 10 multicast zones with prioritization the fourth one is audio power up to 15 watts into bracket dc power supply with built-in class d amplifier the next one is it supports talk back with built-in microphone the next one is customize the wave file for emergency notification and alarm the next one is linkage with security alarming devices then we have supports or support remote configuration via web page and auto provisioning you see so it even supports remote configuration via web page and auto provisioning so it's an ip device okay it supports so it is 10 base 100 mbps ethernet integrated poe with this protocol ieee 802.3af 
class zero so it's an ip product from fanview which is to help you to easily broadcast alerts play music and then you can do talk back through this device this is how the device looks like very cute very very cute and very nice device okay so basically how this is how it looks like in real form so this is the front view this is the side view of it okay this is the side view of the device and this is the front view of it when it's mounted in the ceiling this the front view um can be seen outside okay so that is where the broadcast and the talkback happens okay so that is it with this device um with some of the highlights i just raised okay but let's talk about its specifications let's deal with the specifications of this device okay let me tell you the kind of things you can um that this device supports okay and so under we have the generic under generic we have about um, a list of items this device supports it supports two zip lines or it comes with two zip lines it is silly installation based okay it is mp3 broadcasting it has 10 multicast zones it has talkback application it has link with security alarm service i mean alarm device it has poe enabled and it supports dc power supply so in case um have a poe enabled device or enabled switch to power on this device you can actually use a dc power supply okay now if we go to the device functions we have auto answering we have network time synchronization inbuilt in this device there is web page volume adjustment okay which means you can adjust the volume whilst logged in into this device through a web page you have dynamic multicast function it supports recording through a server so through a server you can do a recording on whatever audio that goes through this device okay if we come to the network side of it it supports 10 base 100 mbps mbps is simply megabit per second it supports network model i mean network mode ip version 4 ip version 6 um, ip version 4 and ip version 6 okay so these are the ip versions it supports and then with the ip setting you can set it you can set a static ip a dscp or a ppoe on this device you can configure a vpn that is l2tp and open vpn you can configure a vlan lldp quality of service that is qs that is what the network in this device supports okay if we go to the protocols it supports sip 2.0 over udp tcp and tls so these are ip protocols that it supports it supports rtp rtcp and srtp these are our protocols it supports stun it supports dscp it supports ip version 6 pppoe l2tp open vpn sntp ftp slash tftp http slash https and then tr-069 okay 
so basically these are some of um the specifications you can find in this device hi my subscribers and viewers thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my videos like my videos and your comments are expected thank you very much for watching